Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and here let's check out the top new games made with Unity launch in October 23. I think this was actually one of the toughest months ever. Usually when I go through the new release list, I find about 15 to 20 games that look interesting and then cut them down to just 10, but this time there were over 30 that look really awesome, really unique, it was definitely really tricky to get them down to just 10, and a lot of these actually have overwhelmingly positive reviews, which is an insanely difficult score to get. The reason why I make these videos is to show you everything the engine can do, the only limit is really just your own skills and imagination, and the variety and the awesome awesomeness of the game shown here really puts out to the test. All of these games are uniquely impressive, so the list is in no particular order, except for the number one game that is my personal pick of the month. And of course, let me start off by mentioning my own game, which also came out in October. I don't want it to take up a slot on the list itself, so this is an honorable mention. It's a fun game with automation, colony building, and defense mechanics, where you build a colony, automate it, and keep the tiny defenseless dinky safe from harm. You then colonize other planets, gather more resources, with the ultimate goal of colonizing every planet and automating everything so your dinkies can finally relax. It's out now on Steam, I hope you like it, and please make sure to write a review with your thoughts. Also, right now, you can get a free asset on the Assessor. It's a really great basic animation pack. Now, technically, when this video goes live, the sale will have changed. However, the last time that I mentioned this, people said in the comments that you could still use the coupon even after the sale changes. So just search for this pack, Basic Motions, and use the coupon Kevin Iglesias, and it should be free. Let me know if this does work. And whatever new sale happens by the time this video goes live, that one will probably also have a free asset. I don't know what it's going to be, but it should be free using another coupon. Alright, so starting off at number 10 with a game that is seriously blowing up, it's called Outpath. This one had one of the most successful demos of the last Steam Festival, and that demo success definitely translated into massive sales success. The game is basically the definition of the word satisfying. It's a nice exploring, crafting, building game with an interesting 3D style. Features lots of very satisfying animations and sound effects. One thing that I heard about this one that made me immediately interested is when someone described it basically as Forager in 3D. I absolutely loved Forager. That's another game where it's just so insanely satisfying. Every action feels so good. And this one seems very much like it, but in 3D, which certainly changed things. You start off on a tiny island and gather some basic resources. But after a while, you expand and expand until you have this massive island with tons of buildings and resources all over the place. If you like building crafting games, then this is definitely one you can't miss. It's out now and in less than a month already has almost a thousand overwhelmingly positive views at 95% positive. That's insane. Then here we have a really unique one. It's a Motorvania called Leica Age Through Blood. So it's a Metroidvania, but you drive a bike. Definitely a very unique concept. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. And on top of that, it's actually Western themed. So this looks like a really weird mix of genres, visuals, and mechanics. But based on reviews, it really does work. You've got all kinds of abilities and a weapon to take down enemies. You can do an air dash while driving your bike. Then in midair, fire your shotgun and watch as the enemies turn into a mist of blood. The controls look really nice and fluid. It's all in a side-scrolling perspective with some ramps that allow you to make some really nice tricks. And the movement is also a mechanic itself. You can parry bullets if you block them with the underside of the bike. So that involves lots of twisting, lots of backflips in order to both survive and attack the enemies. Vehicle games are actually usually pretty niche, but this one is finding massive success. It is out now and already has a thousand overwhelmingly positive views at 95% positive. Next, if you're looking for a sci-fi, super fast-paced FPS roguelite, then check out Battle Shapers. It features some really intense action with a multitude of weapons and abilities. Being a roguelite means you go on multiple runs, you can make your build from tons of unique weapons and defeat some really interesting enemies. Your right hand holds your weapon whilst the left hand controls your abilities or simply punches some enemies. For every boss you defeat, the next run becomes much harder. You can do all of this while looking awesome in this excellent visual style. Someone mentioned in the reviews that this game is basically what would happen if Mega Man and Doom had a baby, so if that sounds interesting, definitely give it a shot. It is out now in early access with 150 very positive reviews. Then here's one where honestly I'm interested just based on the name. It's called Wizard with a Gun. There's certainly something to be said about coming up with a funny, unique, interesting name for your game. If you come up with something like this, then just having an interesting name will make marketing the game so much easier. But thankfully for this one, it is not just an interesting name, the game itself also looks great. It describes itself as an online sandbox survival game for up to one or two players. It's very much along the lines of Don't Starve, which for me Don't Starve is one of my favorite games. I played it all the way back when it was a game that you played on Chrome, and back then I loved it. So based on that comparison alone, I'm already interested. You explore this world in a nice 2D, 3D style. 
Like name implies, you've got a gun, but obviously you have tons of customization to make that gun exactly as you want it, tons of upgrades and unique ammo that you can craft by gathering resources from the world, you can make bullets that go through enemies, or bullets that return to the player, or maybe grant your life or poison enemies. Your gun is also how you build things, which is certainly unique. There are some areas you can only access after you use your gun to build a bridge. The game is very systems heavy, and with all kinds of creative combinations, you can experience things that developers never imagined. You can play either solo or alongside a friend. It is out now with almost a thousand very positive reviews. Then this month, there was a surprising amount of really great XCOM likes. This is the one that I picked called Cyber Knight's Flashpoint. It's an XCOM-like, so it's turn-based, you've got multiple controllable units, various weapons and abilities, all in a really interesting cyberpunk world, so lots of hackers and futuristic weapons. Build up your base with all kinds of unique buildings that allow for research, crafting and a bunch more. Then check out the world map to see where you'd like to go next. Pick your next mission carefully. Once you go in, take advantage of the stealth mode before you engage. Position your units accurately so that when you finally go all out, you can take out a ton of enemies at once. Setting up ambushes was always my favorite part of XCOM, so I really love how this game seems to have a nice focus on that. Engage with unique factions and interesting stories to explore this world outside of combat, but then take your best soldiers and complete the mission. It is out now in early access with a little bit of a muted release, with only 70 reviews, but they are all very positive. Next for some VR, here we have a fun one called Under Pressure. This one is all about various use cases for a pressure washer, so naturally you can wash things. Now for me, I really enjoyed my time playing Power Wash Simulator, so playing something like it in VR sounds like it can be a very relaxing experience. However, this one builds upon that and includes various other activities as well, all of them based on using a pressure washer. So for example, you can play football and push a ball around in multiplayer, you can use the pressure washer to fly around like a jetpack, it also allows you to easily import custom models and wash them, that's a pretty awesome feature. So all in all, this this looks like a really relaxing experience in single player or a fun time with friends. It is out now in early access with 20 positive reviews. Then if you're looking for something spooky, here is Lethal Company. This is a co-op scavenging horror game all about exploring abandoned moons in order to gather resources to then sell and obviously do that without dying. It's very much focused on co-op. You can go out into the world while another player stays in the control room monitoring everything. Do make sure to take a flashlight because things get dark quite quickly and when it gets dark you must hurry up and get back to the ship, hopefully without leaving anyone behind. Then you sell the loot you acquired, buy better equipment and tools, and go out on riskier and more dangerous missions. I really quite like the concept of this one, I imagine it's a ton of fun with friends. I'm usually not into horror games, but I'd love to give this one a try. The reviews certainly do seem to point that it's a great game. It is only out in early access, but already has 1700 overwhelmingly positive reviews at 98% positive, so people are really loving this one. Next, if you want something more calm and jolly, here is Ooblets. It's a farming game with a really very charming style. There are creatures called Ooblets, which you can grow, train and collect. They can also help you out on the farm, so the game has some minor automation elements. Instead of combat, you solve disagreements through the medium of dance, where each Ooblet has a different unique move, there are tons of things to do, lots of mini games to play and a huge world to explore alongside many unique characters to meet. You can even set up a store to sell your goods and follow a nice overarching story. Basically this game really is the definition of the word charming, it is out now with 500 very positive reviews. Then if you'd like to experience massive battles, here is Executive Assault 2. This is an RTS slash FPS hybrid with a really huge scale, you can fly some truly massive spaceships, and then you can also play as a tiny soldier and really experience the massive scale difference. This game really lets you experience some huge battles in either single player or multiplayer. In RTS mode you control the entire fleet and give orders to push your goals forward and then you go down into FES mode and actually achieve those goals. You can control the entire galaxy and capture buildings and spaceships, build up your base, gather resources, explore a massive tech tree, engage in some espionage or go out guns blazing. It just launched out of early access so it's already packed full of content. It is out now with a thousand very positive reviews. And at number one for my personal pick of the month, here is another one that is also being extremely well received, it's called Dot Age. This one is made by solely the developer over the course of 9 years and it's really awesome to see how it's finding so much success. I've seen a bunch of gifts from this game over the past few months, it looks really nice and charming. The game is a roguelike survival turn-based city builder, that's definitely a unique mix of genres. You control the elder of a village, it's your job to guide your villagers to a better life, decide where and what to build, gather resources and unlock new tech, but the apocalypse is coming, so do make sure you're ready for when the disaster strikes. It can be everything from a plague, a tsunami, or really just the whole world going on fire. Personally, I'm really intrigued by the turn-based aspect of the game. The game does not completely stop between runs, the world is nice and alive as you take your time to make the next decision, so it's certainly a unique mechanic and I'd love to see how exactly it works, and based on the player response, it seems that this weird mix of genres is very well made. 
It is out now with 700 overwhelmingly positive reviews at 97% positive. Again, that's an insane score. Alright, so that's 10 awesome new games made with Unity launched in October 23. I hope this list helped you see how the Unity engine is capable of building anything. The only limits are really just your own skills and imagination. Check out my own game, Dicky Gardens, and I hope you enjoy playing it.